Uh, my name is uh, Alfaxa Dita Ondongo. I come from Kaha West. I'm 23 years old and I'm a student of economics, Bachelor of Economics and Statistics in Western Nairobi, my last year. Uh, why did you start, uh, decide to take agriculture? First of all, I was brought up in a farming family, so I understood the rules of the game. Uh, but also I realized it's um, uh, uh, there's a huge market because people have to eat and population is increasing, so that's a market by itself. So I thought you would never go wrong with farming. So that's why I decided to take farming and uh, try out whether I could uh, uh, do it as a business uh, uh, investment. Maybe you can brief us on what activities takes place in your farm? I have poultry, so uh, both layers and kenyaji and uh, broilers. So there is a frequent feeding and uh, watering of the, of, the, of the poultry buds. Then I do uh, horticulture that is more vegetables. I do spinach, skuma, managu, terere, and more of uh, vegetables. Uh, therefore, there is uh, frequent weeding, frequent uh, digging, frequent watering when there is no rain, frequent uh, uh, change of uh, manure and uh, addition of manure. And there is also a lot of uh, manure mixing in terms of the cow manure and and also the manure from the chicken. You have mentioned about the cow. So yeah. does you own a cow? Yeah, I own uh, a cow, rather two cows, but one of them is uh, uh, the one that is being milked. The other one is uh, still young. Yeah, so I get uh, around 12 liters per day of milk. Wow. Yeah. So why did you decide to diversify in agriculture rather than concentrating on poultry or dairy or fruits and vegetables? Yeah, I, I think the secret behind agriculture is you can't really specialize on one thing. If you are a farmer, you need to diversify. Uh, one, for the sake of the margins, and uh, second of all, for the sake of the risk uh, being involved. Because uh, some of the products are, have quick money, others uh, will take long. So to ensure that you have cash flow, and that you are able to sustain the farm, then you need to diversify at least and get money that is quick and also some products that uh, give you money after quite some long time. Do you make money in agriculture? Yes, I do. But I don't think I am yet there. I still feel like I'm doing very little. So, But at least I'm doing something. I'm getting something out of it. So what do you use the money for? Uh, first of all, I've been paying my school fees since the word go, since when I was in first year. Uh, my school fees is expensive, it's around 83,000 per semester. So I've been paying my school fees and uh, most of my money right now is going back into the business. Uh, nothing much in terms of uh, investment other places because I want to really bring up the farm to a position where it can stand on its own. And So then therefore you need to be very disciplined in terms of uh, plowing back your profits to uh, get more, more stuff going on. One key challenge for young farmers is access to land. How did you access your land to farm? Uh, at least for me, I've, I've used what my parents have in terms of connections and in terms of uh, the family friends, because the land that I've leased uh, up there is for a family friend who was not using it. So I, I approached him. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I've leased uh, land for around 10,000 per year, which is two, because there are two pieces of land. Mm -hmm. Each around around half an acre each, so that's like twenty thousand per year for three years. Uh, probably they'll renew the contract after that. What are the challenges you face as a young farmer? Challenges first of all is the market. Uh, I have the market yes, but I still want more market because uh, some very big farmers are flooding the market, like the son of Kenyatta, mm -hmm. Jamba, who is doing serious farming has flooded the market like with so many things. So you you get that the produce, in terms of the price, it goes down. Uh, where else, if you're a small farmer, then you end up uh, uh, being on the other side of uh, the equation. So you might end up not having the market, but I'm trying really hard to get markets uh, where I can. But one of the challenges is that, and also information in terms of the pesticides and what to use and how to take care of uh, your uh, things in the farm. 
you are you mentioned that that you are in the Mukurima Young platforms. Yeah. What benefits have you gotten from it? I've learned a lot in terms of uh, various things that people actually uh, post there. In terms of one, uh, like how much it would cost you to bring up 300 Kenyan chickens, how much it would cost you to do watermelons, uh, the kind of problems that people are facing in terms of uh, probably uh, insecticides and all those things. So I've learned a lot from the platform and also in terms of uh, connecting with people in terms of someone who is somewhere and has a farm and I would want to visit. I think I've learned a lot from them in terms of uh, the Mkulima Young platform. What message do you have for the young farmers or the young men and girls who think that farming is dirty? Uh, the message I have for them is that uh, they we have stomachs to feed in this country and the stomachs are getting more and more every day that means more and more market for farm produce and people are going the uh, nutritious way of living therefore that means more and more markets for organic produce because people are very cautious about what they eat nowadays and at the end of it all i want to tell them that uh, white collar jobs are not the best way to go but don't get into farming if you don't uh, know what it entails to be in, in, in farming.